But there you go. There you go. A little bit of speed. See? You can go a little bit. Here you go. Let's see if we can get some jumps. There we go. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. There we go. Pure nightmare juice. It just doesn't make any sense. All right. Let's go jump off this last cliff. Nowhere near as fun. If you want to travel around, you're better off going to get a mole rat. What's going on guys, TVF Gaming, welcome back to a brand new episode of ARK Survival Evolved, we're playing Not So Vanilla Valgaro right here on the TVFG Patreon server, episode 51. We're on episode 51, we just finished episode 50, and we finished up the actual alpha boss fight. It was super amazing, we had a lot of fun. Because of that, we got all the tech stuff unlocked, and we did make a tech replicator in between episodes. It was very, very expensive. Only thing I didn't have was the black pearls, but now because we made this, we don't have much of anything left, so I can't really make anything else until I get some more metal going. So we've got a whole bunch of metal smelting up there. I put a whole bunch on there. It should be good to go soon. We can turn this on too. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, look at it. Looks amazing. I'm really excited about it. We also just for fun went ahead and made this tech ATV just because it's something that we haven't really messed with very often. Where did it go? It slid off over here. Here it is. It's really kind of goofy. It doesn't work really well. It's super heavy. So since I pick it up, it's going to be really hard to move. Let's go ahead and pick it up takes forever to pick up and you can't use the pickup gun to pick it up either it's really kind of goofy let's get back up here if i can get back on the foundations there we go let's put it right there there we go and it slides like it doesn't quite stay on foundation so you can see it's not even holding still right now it's kind of sliding back and forth it's really really goofy but let's go over here and take a look at what we built this morning in between episodes. And before we do that, if you guys like today's episode, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment down below. We're getting closer to our next goal, slowly inching towards 4,000 subs on YouTube. We're at 36 something right now. Definitely thank you for all the support. You guys are amazing. Shout out to all the Patreons. You guys make it possible to run these servers. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and move over here and check this out. And over on uh, the streaming, we're, we've, we're over 50 followers. It's been awesome over there too. But check it out. Here it is. We've got the super amazing little, I guess uh shrine or tomb i don't know what you want to call it we've kind of changed it a few times trying to figure out how we wanted to make it uh, so it was going to be a building episode but i built it tore it down built it tore it down five or six times still not real happy with it i want to kind of keep tweaking it to see if i can get a little bit better shape to it the only thing special we did was these little arches using some sloped roofs it's nothing super special but it's it at least looks okay got a couple spots i need to finish up on the top and I want to finish the top part and make it into some kind of, I don't know. I, I just need to round off the top a little bit. It doesn't look real good the way it is right there. So let's land right here. Let's eat the random pteranodon. There we go. And then we'll go inside and take a look at the different dinos that we lost during the alpha fight and a couple of fights before that. So just a few of them. We didn't remember all of them. Uh, we didn't do a remembrance for all of them, but we at least did one for mittens. Figured we put mittens in here. He's got the hand up so we can do a high five whenever we need to just come high five mittens. Mittens is the one that took us through all of the boss fights. Uh, well, the most recent boss fight also took us into a couple of the big, big caves. So it took us into the spider cave, the swamp cave, and just completely wrecked face in there. It was an absolutely awesome tame. Probably one of my favorite dinos this season, along with Sir Eagleton, our, our RG, and then Riggs, our other RG. And Riggs is over here. We lost Riggs in a wyvern accident. We were going for wyvern eggs and got destroyed by a bunch of wyverns. We did go exact our revenge there, so <laughs> no big deal there. Uh, over here, General Dodo, the one that led us into battle, uh, won his first two fights and then lost the uh, well we won the fight uh, but we lost the dodo during the fight against the alpha bosses so kind of a bummer that we lost the dodo but who brings the dodo to a boss fight uh, the shine horn that we lost in the swamp cave along with bouncing betty who we lost in the swamp cave and then over on this side a couple more that we lost in the alpha boss fight we have tina the mammoth one of the rhinos, and another megatherium. There's a couple more that we lost, but those are the main ones that we wanted to go ahead and put up inside of here. Put up a couple little things. Rip Mittens, B Bouncing Betty, Tina, and then, of course, Riggs and General Dodo. So there you go. Kind of just something to remember those guys by. I think it's kind of fun when you get this far into a playthrough and there's certain dinos that you had a lot of fun with and that you get kind of attached to because you play with them so much, it's kind of fun to put up something for them because you know they, they, they mean something to you, man. They're, they're your uh, ARC pets. Now, we want to try this out. This is an absolute, uh, let's call it, it sucks. <laughs> it's, it's not very good. It is kind of a waste of time. It is really loud, so hope you guys can hear me okay. 
Uh, the tires don't actually spin. It's just, yeah, I don't know. It is weird. I don't think it has any other additional buttons or anything, right? Does it have an inventory? It doesn't seem to have an inventory. Can I put anything on it? Uh, it can carry stuff, but it only has... Well, it has 100 weight, but it doesn't seem like it actually gets heavier. Okay, so you don't have to worry about weight with it. I guess that's a good thing, right? Uh, it is not fast. It does not control well. And it hits everything, so it ragdolls a lot. Can I at least teleport it? Let's find out if we can teleport. Let's go to the blue obelisk and try it out real quick. Hopefully we can teleport inside of it. I don't really know. But it's just kind of fun to mess around with it. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. Oh, man. Did I crash the server? Hold on. Is everything building in? <laughs> okay. You cannot teleport with the ATV. We know that now. We'll put it under inventory, and then we'll teleport. And we'll at least try to drive it just a little bit, at least have a little bit of fun with it. But, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we're doing today is just kind of messing with some of the tech stuff. I wanted to get a few of these things going and kind of see if we can get into the fun stuff. Let's go ahead and teleport on here. Blue obelisk. The snow area is always one of the easier places to drive around, so I figured we'll try it out real quick. And the tech ATV is worth just checking out every once in a while. It used to be in-game where you could, like, spawn it in and... Within S plus, it's actually you're actually allowed to just craft it right inside there. Like I said, it is not. Good. <laughs> I wish like a modder would make like a good version of this. I've seen the Jurassic Park version of this, and I think it was pretty much the same thing. Didn't handle well. It was kind of a nightmare. And yeah, see, it kind of bumps on everything. Let's see how bad we crash. Okay, got it. No, 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 no. Come on. There you go. Nailed it. Come on. Get up over the rock. And there you go. I knew you could do it. All right. Handles like a charm. And now, if it does land on its top, it does have an option to flip it back over. So I guess that's good. Uh, other than that, you just pretty much point the mouse where you're wanting to go and hold the W button to go forward. I think you can use... Can you use WASD? No, you can't use the other things to steer it, it doesn't look like. It gets a little bit of speed when it gets into a straightaway, but it pretty much anything that it hits causes big problems with it. So you gotta be a little bit careful. Uh, it does have a horn, there you go. It's got a horn, uh, doesn't feel like any other buttons working, so I think that's it. Not much functionality to it, no reason to have it other than just to spawn it in one time or, or build it in one time with the S Plus stuff. Now, this used to be something that you could spawn in on Xbox as well. I don't know if that was still the case. I know a long time ago it was something that was in the game that you could spawn in, and it was a complete nightmare. It was like a thousand decibels higher than anything else. It was super loud. You couldn't hear anything else. The tires did at least spin back then. I don't know why they don't spin now. But there you go. There you go. A little bit of speed. See? You can go a little bit. Here you go. Let's see if we can get some jumps. There we go. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. There we go. Pure nightmare juice. It just doesn't make any sense. All right. Let's go jump off this last cliff. Nowhere near as fun. If you want to travel around, you're better off going to get a mole rat like we did in the last episode. That's way more fun. All right. There we go. Okay. Come on. There we go. Let's jump the cliff. No. Everything we're going to hit is going to mess us up. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Just kind of shows you... <laughs> Uh, something that you can craft up that is a complete waste of time. All right, <laughs> let's go ahead and get out of this thing. Anything down here going to attack me? No, we're good. Can I just demolish it? Let me see. I think we can pick it back up. I don't think we can demo it. I'll put it in my industrial grinder and see if we can get rid of it. Here we go. Almost picked it up. Takes forever to pick up, and now we're super heavy. So let's go back to our plaza. Oh, we messed up our favorites. Plaza. Bam. All right, 25. No, we're not taming anything. Why would we tame something? We're 51 episodes in. <laughs> Absolutely silly. All right, wait for everything to build in. All right, so now that we've... Uh, you know what? Let's go throw this on the grinder now and see if it actually does... If it is something that we can grind down. Now, we're going to continue to build around the rest of the island. I want to finish out the rest of the building stuff. There we go. As everything builds in slowly. But I want to finish out the rest of the island and kind of finish off this build completely. I'll probably do some railings and stuff. I don't know if it's something I'll do for an episode or just kind of in between. And then maybe we'll show you guys afterwards. We've got a whole bunch of metal going so I can make some of the tech stuff. But there's not much I can make right now. Uh, it's fairly expensive. I think I can make some tech walls 
and stuff like that, but I don't think I can do much else. All right, we're almost there. I know this is like super slow motion. We're doing like the Baywatch, Baywatch running. There we go. <laughs> slow motion. There you go. I'm going to put it in the grinder and see if we can grind it down. We've been grinding down all the extra pieces. So we actually got a good collection of stuff now. Uh, yes, it does. Okay. Cool. Give us back some metal. That's actually pretty useful. That will work indeed. Let's go fill up our water real quick since we're going down here. Anyways, for some reason, the water seems to be draining really fast. Uh, both on this server and the other server just the last couple of days. I don't know if there's like an update that changed things. But let's go see what we can get into in the tech replicator. Like I said, we have about 419 element minus whatever it burns inside of here. So we're at 418. So it doesn't burn very fast. So we're good there. There is a way to make more element, I thought. We put another mod on here later on in the season that allows you to make element, I thought. Maybe we didn't. Let's see. Crafts element but requires direct content with liquid element to function? No. It's not that. Maybe it is that. I thought we put an extra mod in here that allows you to make element, but I'm, I'm really not sure now. Anyway, so let's, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the tech stuff that I wanted to look at. There's a few different things that we really want to do. I want to do the, the tech vacuum compartments. I think those are really cool. I don't know if I have enough to even make any of them. And I don't know what the difference between the two is. And that's a moon pool. And that's a compartment. Okay. Let's see if I can make just one. I can. Okay. So how do these work? Because I've never used these before. So I want to see how they actually work. Does it just place by itself? Do you, Oh, do you need a foundation first? No, no, you don't. Okay. Okay. So there it is. And then can I go inside of it? Oh, I can? Ow. What in the world? What is going on here? Hold on. Hold on. I don't have anything to shoot this guy with, do I? Okay. Hold on. Let's get inside of there. Okay. And I'm going to put walls around this since this is inside here. I figure I should secure it just a little bit. We'll do that. But I want to figure out what the deal with this compartment is. I think I need a generator to actually power it, don't I? So let's go ahead and take a look at the compartment. So it says power with a tech generator and you can live and breathe inside of it. Okay. So if we go, uh, let's see, what are we thinking here? Oh, generator, generator. If we look at the S plus one, oh man, we're going to be short 2000. It takes 2400 metal and we're super short on that. Let me see if I have... Maybe it just can't pull it from here. Let's see if we can pull it to here. Because I don't know if we have that much. Let's go metal. Oh, I don't have any? Oh, man. Okay. I guess building the replicator was a little more expensive than I thought. How expensive was this replicator? Replicator. That took 5,000. That's why we have no metal left. Okay. So there you go. We used all of our metal, so not much else we can make with that. But at least we have the te the compartment down there. Now, I did want to go ahead and show you. There's a base that's already made down there. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Can I pick it up? Uh, demo. Oh, I don't want to demo it. Can I? Okay, hold on. I know I'm getting eaten here. Hold on. Where's my demo gun? There we go. There we go. Got it. Okay. So we could, we could do it that way. That's good. All right. Let's get back up here. All right. Now, there is some underwater stuff over here let's go grab one of our sarcos if any of them have a saddle and i do want to show you someone's underwater base down there it's actually really cool it's right down inside the underwater area so let's grab some scuba and i'll show you what it could look like if we get some things going all right this is actually lid's other base we actually came here a while back this is her little cliffside base kind of a cool little base this is her first little functional base that she had going Got some cool storage stuff inside of there. I really like this little base. But we took a look at her Redwood Cottage, which was one of the coolest builds I've seen in Ark. Definitely go back and watch that episode. Something I was really happy to show off. And I wish it was my build. <laughs> I wish I could say that it was something that I built, but it definitely was not. All right, let's go jump in here. Oh, look at that. Megalodon. Ooh, that colors in that Megalodon are awesome. All right, let's go throw the Sark over here. Nope, still too close. A little bit further. There we go. Oh, you beautiful Sarko, you. These are the ones given to us by O-Dog a long time ago. Super amazing. All right, let's put that away. Now, I don't have scuba. I figured I could just come over here and get this done without it just this one time. Um, I know you're going to be a little low on health. That's fine. 
like that. I don't know if your movement speed affects how fast you swim. And then the rest is going to go melee. Okay. There we go. 298, man. This guy's a beast. All right. Decent, decent fast, decent fast. Yeah, but I definitely want to get into building some tech stuff. But I'm a little worried that on this server it's just not going to happen because I have to keep going through that boss fight over and over, which we could do with the Rexes. But I don't think it gives enough element that it makes it worth it. And with no other way to get element really on this. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Make sure you're not going to fight. Are you still moving? What are you doing, man? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> a little bit weird, a little bit weird. Uh, who's hungry? Is it me that's hungry? There we go. I knew we could do it. All right, yeah, we'll go over here to this little underwater entrance over here. This is a, one of my favorite underwater entrances, too. But right down here, there's a really cool base underneath. It was from a former patron. They came in here and built some amazing structures down there. Uh, they were one of the power players on the server, so they definitely made something really cool. I hope it's still here, because I think they're the only one that actually tried to make an underwater like base place. Let's see. I think we're almost there. I always forget where this entrance is at. Kind of down on the edge of this beach right here. Is it this one? No, but this... Oh, wow. Look at all that Silica Pro. Okay. There's the Silica Pro. I think we found that before. I'm still impressed by it just as much as I was last time. Okay. And we, Like I said, we don't have scuba. We're just going to go down there and try it out real quick. All right, right here. All right, we should see it now. Is it this one? Okay, there it is. There's the entrance. Uh, if you guys don't know where this is, I think everyone knows where it is by now. But if not, 6373 is the location for it on the map. It's a right there-ish. All right, let's go do it. Hopefully, we can get down there and back. Or actually, we can just teleport out. We're going to get down there and then teleport out before we die from suffocation. All right, here we go. Yep, there it is right there. Super amazing. They had a mech down here, too. How crazy is that? But look at this place. Absolutely awesome. Very, very cool. Just a nice little underwater base. The amount of grinding that they had to do for this is absolutely crazy. Now, what's weird about this is it does cause some really weird places. Someone swam right there. Hold on. We might be able to breathe right there. Watch. Let's see. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh I wasn't. I didn't mean to do that. No, 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 no. Hold on. Uh, Sarko, attack. Okay, this is a disaster. Good job, Sarko. Okay, eat that one too. This guy too, man. Get him. Oh, Sarko, you're amazing. You're getting named. All right, now, like, like I was saying, down here, there's like this little bubble right here. So someone swam a fish right here, and it actually died. Oh, yeah, look. We have oxygen right here. So kind of weird. It does give you oxygen just like right there. It's because of the slope piece. Because I think it still looks at it as like if it's like a square. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah, but they have like this cool little base spot. I can't really get inside there or anything because it's not my base. But really cool looking. I don't know. Maybe in the future we'll... Uh, I don't think they're on the server anymore. We can always like reclaim the spot just to kind of take a look at it. Yeah, but you can you can build all kinds of stuff inside of there. It's really cool. Look at that. definitely cool they got all their tech stuff down here it just looks amazing you can see all the water and stuff and i've never lived like inside of a water area so i think that's really cool let's see go over here just kind of swim around it a little bit to take a look at it i just think it's really cool uh oh yep there's the person right there and they haven't been on for a while so i don't think they're gonna be be on again before uh the server is gone anyway all right where's our sarco let's go ahead and get our sarco and get out of here just wanted to show you that because it kind of gives you an idea of what you can build really really cool i don't think that we're going to be able to grind out that much now are these all tech pieces or vacuum pieces i don't know it's a yeah s plus vacuum compartment so let me see vacuum vacuum s plus vacuum compartment oh the one i did was not s plus aha is it any cheaper 30 and 30 it is slightly cheaper not by much though but we're gonna need a lot more metal so i gotta do a bunch of grinding in between episodes to get ourselves enough metal to at least make a little tiny square spot i don't think we'll do much more than that uh, but there you go it's kind of cool that you can breathe right here and go back down into the underwater ocean that way let's go ahead and get back to base so kind of just a, a kind of a summation episode or a wrap-up episode to kind of show you what happened in the last couple episodes let's go back to the inside base 
I uh, didn't go out and tame or really do anything fun, but we got started into our tech tree. We built ourselves a little hall of remembrance, whatever you call it, and you know, just kind of, kind of fun. I don't think the art games are going to happen on the server. I'm still thinking about doing a dodo bird race or a terror bird race on my own, uh, but I don't think I can get anyone else back on right now to do that. I know they said they would come back, but it's just a, it's a matter of schedule, getting everybody back on at the same time. It's been a crazy couple weeks. If you guys don't know, I started back at my regular job again, so now now I'm back to one video a day and just not as much time to record and play, unfortunately, which is a bummer. I, it, someday maybe this will be something that we can do a little bit more, but for right now, one a day is not so bad. Hopefully, you guys are still enjoying the content. All right, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Like, like, like uh, comment, subscribe. We're messing up the whole outro thing. Basically, we're just trying to say thank you for all the support. It's been absolutely awesome. Uh, we're doing the no pants dance again as usual. Well, like I said, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to get a couple more episodes in on this server, and then we're going to start rolling out the next server, which is going to be a Olympus somewhat vanilla server. We're going to go with... No dino mods. It's going to be just straight whatever the Olympus map offers because we want to get a chance to see what the Olympus map offers without mods. And then we'll play through it that way and kind of get an idea because the Olympus map, if you don't know, won the mod contest and has a possible maybe kind of go to console eventually because that's what Valgaro did, that's what the center map did, and that's what Ragnarok did. They won the mod contest. They came to the consoles, and that's what you guys want. If you guys that play on console, I know you guys want to be able to see those things eventually uh, it's, it's so worth it if they actually do because Valgaro has been a lot of fun. It's been my favorite series so far, and we just started the Eternal series over on the streaming platform. We're streaming that on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Check it out. Link in the description down below. There you go, guys. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed it, guys. I'm, I know we're kind of running a little bit long. I just wanted to make sure that we get all that stuff out so you guys kind of know. And uh, if you guys are still sticking around at this point, I definitely appreciate you. I will see you in the next episode of ARK Survival Evolved and Not So Vanilla Valgaro on the TVFG Patreon server. And as always, huge shout out to the patrons. You guys are awesome and amazing. Thank you.